Rising Report back here on Shot TV. I wish I was doing this from Montreal. Uh, congratulations for a fantastic year for Bison football. They came short uh, at the CI semifinal, losing 29 to 26 to number two Montreal Caravan. But that is a fantastic season for Bison football and uh, Coach uh, Brian Doby and the whole squad out there for Bison football. But Bison Sports still goes on live here at the uh, University of Manitoba campus, and we're talking Bison women's hockey with head coach. John Rempel, John Rempel, you know you're in your 11th season. Is it 11 years already? It's 11 years. You and me have been working together. How's, how's that? Wow, time flies when you're having fun, Zook. Yeah, we're having fun here. But your team is having fun, and they're really working hard. Let's talk about last week against UBC, the number four team in the country, and you swept them. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's been a good ride this year. I mean, the team is uh, probably playing some of its best hockey uh, of the year right now, and it's been a kind of a gradual progression. But... Uh, yeah, last weekend was probably, I would say, in my 11 years, two of the best back-to-back -back games from both sides that I've probably seen uh, in a weekend series. Hockey was pretty incredible. And just talk about this team, a lot of new players, young teams, I, I think there's 17 of rookies or sophomores on this team. How have they been gelling this year? They're right there at a tie for first place going to the last week of the, uh, of the regular season for, before we get to the holidays. Yeah, the team has uh, progressed a lot faster than I thought would probably happen. Um, you know, and the talent level is, is pretty high on this team. Um, you know, as, as you and I have talked about, you know, many times over the last probably six months, uh, probably one of my best recruiting years overall in the 11 years in terms of depth, in terms of skill level, in terms of character, uh, just in terms of kids that really, really want to be here and make an impact. And that clearly is showing. And like you said, yeah, it's, it's actually 16 first and second years, and the majority of those kids are, are in the lineup on any given weekend. So uh, they're making a huge statement. And... Uh, I really like the way some of my fourth and fifth years, I don't have many of them, but I really like the way they're playing and the way they've really taken those kids in and really helped them um, get comfortable fast. Lastly, Alberta Pandas coming to town, number three team in the country, uh, Friday, Saturday here at the Wayne Fleming Maria. What do you have to do to beat them? Uh, different, different kettle of fish here, uh, different kind of team, much more um, diligent in the way they check. Uh, they just, the very patient kind of team, very structured, very disciplined. Um, so a completely different team than we faced last weekend in UBC, which was uh, a lot more up and down the ice, run and gun, um, and you know who could get to the net first kind of thing. This will be a different kind of uh, game for us, but I think we have um, we have a lot of confidence right now, and I think we're playing the right way, and I think we can play different ways against different teams. So I think that's been proven already in the first half of the year. Bison women's hockey, 6.30 on Friday, 1 o'clock on Saturday. And don't forget, Bison basketball at home here against Lethbridge women and men. And the men team, they are rolling 6-2 and two in the Pioneers division there. Uh, Kirby Chef has an exciting brand of uh, basketball going on there. They play almost up to 100 points every game. And all the details will be on gobisons.ca. Uh, thanks, as always, for uh, watching Bison Report on Shaw TV.